as we gather for this Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. We also extend a very warm welcome to Father John Katatu, a priest of the Vincentian Congregation. Father will speak to us of the missionary endeavors of his community and ask our assistance through a second collection, which will be taken up after the gifts of bread and wine are brought forward. I am with you always, Jesus assures his disciples, even as he ascends to his Father in heaven. Jesus is also with us here today in the Eucharist, in the Word, and in each of us as we gather in his name. Jesus also promised his disciples that he would not leave them orphans. We rely on that promise today and always as we seek to follow him and carry out our mission. Again, welcome to each of you. Tonight we are remembering and praying for Richard and Dolores Wagner, and tomorrow's Mass is for Charles and Lucille Simon. And of course, we continue our prayers for Dot Steer. Our sanctuary light will burn this week in memory of Donna Hoover. The parish council meeting that was scheduled for this Tuesday has been changed to June 1st, that's a Thursday, at 7 p.m. The finance committee will meet the same night, but they will meet at 5.30. Let us now rise and begin this celebration. Please join us in singing opening song 188, Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good evening. So happy to meet you all, and the great feast day, and the solemnity of the ascension of our Lord Jesus. Let us thank the Lord for the great gift of our Lord Jesus in our life. And as we are in the Easter season, and as we celebrate the great feast of the ascension of our Lord Jesus, let us also think about the eternal life and to thank the Lord. We have a great life after our death that is called eternal life. And to thank the Lord, the Lord has come to give us life in abundance. And at the same time, let us ask the Lord mercy and forgiveness for all the sins which we have committed in our life. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and in what I have yet to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God, 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, whose Son today ascended to the heavens, as the apostles looked on, grant, we pray, that in accordance with his promise, we may be worthy for him to live with us always on earth, and to be with him in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking up, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. i 
Jesus' throne to shouts of joy, of blare of trumpets for the Shout to God with cries of gladness, for the Lord the Most High, the Awesome, is the great King over all on the earth. God mounts His throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts His throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpets blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For King of all the earth is God, sing hymns of praise. God reigns over the nations, God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, may the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resulting in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones, and what is the surpassing greatness of his power for us who believe. In accord with the exercise of his great might, which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, and seating him at his right hand in the heavens, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet, and gave him as head over all things to the earth, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. all nations, says the Lord, I am with you always until the end of the world. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them. When they saw him, they worshipped, but they doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Jesus Please be seated. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Every man and woman has a desire 
to seek God. From the beginning of the Bible, we see that people are in search of God. In the Old Testament, we see that when God comes in the form of cloud and fire, people are afraid. But when we come to the New Testament, the God took the form of a human being and appeared as a human. That is why even the apostles, sometimes they had doubt that whether Jesus is God. Jesus always says, I am doing the will of my Father and the Father is with me. Whatever things I ask the Father, He will do. Then we know that Philip asked Jesus, Show us this Father. You are always telling us about a Father figure because Jesus wants to teach us a God who is like a loving Father. Then Jesus said, Philip, who yours sees me, sees the Father because I and the Father are same. If anybody wants to see God, please look at the cross, look at the Jesus. He is exactly God himself. Jesus, God is equal to Jesus and Jesus is equal to Eucharist. So dear brothers and sisters, Jesus shows the nature of the Father. What is the nature of the Father? Because God always loves a sinner. God loves a sinner and he hates sin. You remember clearly that Jesus loves a sinner but he hates sin. Whoever comes close to Jesus, he has forgiven the sins of the people and healed the sick, delivered the demons. And as Jesus said, he has risen on the third day. Not only that, Jesus is the only one person who came after death. And around 40 days, Jesus was with the apostles. That is why we know that they are all afraid and called him he, he may be a ghost. He may be a ghost. But Jesus encouraged them, told them what all things he said while he was living. And he said, Go and baptize the people and proclaim the gospel of the Lord. That is why the apostles said, went all around the world proclaiming the gospel. I am also a missionary priest. I had been working in Africa for eight years in Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, and also in Rwanda, a small, tiny country. And today, uh, you are also helping the missions, especially during the second collection. Uh, we have a poor school in Tanzania. Uh, it is called Uvinsa, whereby 300 children are learning and studying. And when you help them, God will reward you. And my dear brothers and sisters, let me tell you one thing. I born and brought up in a family of nine children. Nine children. I have five sisters, four brothers. But three sisters are already dead and my one brother is also passed away four years back. I born and brought up in India and later I joined in the Vincentian congregation, became a priest, then I was sent to Africa to preach the gospel of the Lord. Then last year only I came to America. Now I stationed in New Jersey. I came here yesterday with the other priest and dear brothers and sisters. I have seen with my own eyes, people are getting healed. Demons are going out from the people, especially I have seen in, uh, in Kenya. I was working in Kenya. And I shall tell you one thing. I was also seriously sick, but by the grace of God, I am completely healed and standing here as a priest. So I thank the Lord along with you and it is my pleasure to see you all. And once again, I wish you the uh, happy feast of the uh, ascension of our Lord Jesus. May God bless you all. Kindly stand to pray the creed.
I believe in one God, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, Lord of God for all ages, God from God, like from like, to God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, to whom all things were made for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He fell dead and was buried. He rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to the living and the dead, and the singer will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, as spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. The of the dead, and the life of the world to come. Amen. For all the members of the church, that they welcome God's presence in their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who spread the good news, especially missionaries, that God will inspire them to announce his abiding presence and untiring love for all, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are fearful or anxious, that God calm their spirits and give them hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the nations of the world, that they grow in unity and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that God's healing spirit will ease their pain and restore them to wholeness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who will be assisted through our missionary collection and for the continued ministry of the Vincentian priests, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Richard and Dolores, Wagner, Charles and Lucille Simon, Dot Steer, and for our personal needs. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful Father, your beloved Son is the Alpha and the Omega, the bright morning star. May we always trust in his great mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The offertory hymn is 736 to Jesus Christ, our sovereign King. Jesus, Lord, and 
Blessed star, you Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, our High Priest, is seated ever living at your right hand to intercede for us, grant that we may approach with confidence the throne of grace and there obtain your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder, mediator between God and man, judge of the world and lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with the Paschal joy, every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. indeed holy O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore O Lord we humbly implore you by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. That 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night Jesus was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with His Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May He make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with their blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, especially with the saints, Morais, Saint Michael, Saint Mother, Blessed Mother Teresa, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Amen, Lord be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done, for our as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us joyfully offer each other the sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Please join us in singing number 702 on this day, a beautiful mother. Stay. 
to share. Dearest mother, thy sweet care, aid us ever, feed us straight. Wander from thy guiding way. Stay, oh beautiful mother, on this day we give thee our love, give thee mortal, upon thee we hover, trusting thy church. Let us pray. May the gifts we have received from your altar, Lord, kindle in our hearts a longing for the heavenly homeland and cause us to press forward, following in the Savior's footsteps to the place where, for our sake, 
he ended before us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Before the final blessing, dear brothers and sisters, I sincerely thank you. I was really taken up by your prayers and faith. Keep it up. May God bless you and bless your entire families. And we will also meet in heaven one day with our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. The Lord be with you. The solemn blessing. And your response shall be Amen. May Almighty God bless you for on this very day His only begotten Son pierced to the heights of heaven and unlocked for you the way to ascend to where He is. Amen. May He grant that as Christ after His resurrection was seen plainly by His disciples, so when He comes as judge, He may show Himself merciful to you for all eternity. And may you who believe that he is seated with the Father in his majesty know with joy the fulfillment of his promise to stay with you until the end of time. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go for the Mass is ended. Please join the scene, number 739, Lead Me, Lord. Blessed are the poor in spirit, longing for the Lord. For God's coming kingdom shall be theirs. Blessed are the sorrowing, for they shall be consoled. And the meek shall come to rule the world. Lead me, Lord. Be my truth, be my